Hi, I'm Larry Chestnut, Senior Architect with Scalability Experts. I'm here to talk to you for a little bit about mission critical systems and maintaining their uptime, or otherwise thinking of in terms of decreasing the interruptions to your business processes. Now in SQL Server 2012, there is a fantastic features that increase your mission critical uptime, uh, specifically the availability groups that most of us are already familiar with. However, there are still circumstances that will even interrupt those processes, specifically the dreaded Microsoft Patch Tuesdays of every month that sometimes will have patches that have nothing to do with SQL Server, but they do affect the operating system and its ancillary applications and services. And those oftentimes require reboots of those operating systems. That can represent downtime for SQL Server as availability groups have to shift uh, failover clustering, has to recover databases, database mirrors have to be recovered on their mirror sites. In all three of those examples, you have SQL Server interrupting its transactional processing. In doing so, what you've done is made sure that the surface area of vulnerability for security patches being installed is greatly reduced. You don't have Internet Explorer, you don't have any other GUI and ancillary services and processes running. Ergo, you're far less vulnerable to having patches that are required for your particular system. Less downtime, less patching. Your SQL Server services are not interrupted as frequently as they might otherwise be. Some people might be a little put off by trying to work with Windows Server Core only because there's no GUI. It's not a problem. All you have to do is remember your basic MS-DOS commands you learned a long time ago. In addition to that, there is, of course, open source code available on coplex.com that allows you to have a GUI interface that you can work through your server core. With. And finally, and most prevalent today now, is the use of PowerShell to manage those systems once you've installed SQL Server. So with the advent of availability groups, readable mirrors, you might ask yourself why do we have to be concerned with uh, decreasing our downtime even, even further. And it's true that you don't have to worry so greatly about this issue in the context of where I have a select statement where I'm querying, asking a question of SQL Server. But in the instance where you have to do transactional activity, inserts, updates, deletes, uh, in those situations, that recovery time, as the server has had to be moved over to another machine, ergo through database mirroring, Windows failover clustering, availability groups, and all those instances, that represented downtime for transactional activity. And that's what we were concerned with reducing even further. And so if you're interested in taking your enterprise mission critical tier one systems to a higher level of availability and reduce downtime, we would be happy to talk with you and walk you through the steps and processes that would be necessary for you to migrate to a SQL Server 2012 solution. Contact Scalability Experts. We're here to help you.